this. What is our second main topic today? This one comes from Darcy Bruman. This weekend, I went to see Top Gun Maverick for the fifth time. Wow. I loved it as much as the first time I saw it, and I guess a lot of other people have seen it a bunch of times, too, because stories are out there that it just passed Titanic, and it's now the seventh biggest film of all time. At this rate, do you think there's a chance that it could eventually become the number one box office movie ever? Thanks and bring on that filthy. All right, thanks a lot for saying that. So first thing, Darcy, is um, in the words of the immortal uh, Vince McMahon, formerly of the WWE, no chance in hell. It, it, it is no, 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 no. It is never going to become the number one worldwide box office film uh, ever. That's that's just not going to happen. Uh, I think it would have to more than double the box office it's already made to even get close. So yeah, that part's not going to happen, but that's fine. It doesn't need to be the biggest film of all time to be absolutely remarkable of what it has accomplished. This is crazy. And it's still in the top 10 at the box office. Like if I bring up, the weekend of the box office, where is it here? Where is Top Gun? I Top Gun was number six in its 11th week. Number six of the box office, <laughs> pulling in another $7 million, which for those of you keeping score is $2 million more than Easter Sunday made on its opening weekend. <laughs> oh, sorry, Joe. And its 11th week, it has now made $662 million at the domestic box office and worldwide, 1.35, 1.35 billion, which is absolutely astronomical. It has now passed domestically. It has passed Titanic. It has made more money at the domestic box office than Titanic. Now, Titanic is still miles ahead of it overall worldwide, but it has passed and it is now the seventh biggest film domestically, not worldwide. I think worldwide Top Gun is now... Like, the, it's in the top 15. I think it's like the 13th biggest worldwide film in history and seventh domestically. This comes from the folks over at Variety who write the following. Top Gun Maverick has toppled Titanic as the seventh biggest film ever at the domestic box office, earning $662 million in ticket sales for Paramount. Top Gun Maverick has also overtaken Titanic as the studio's biggest film in its 110-year history. Domestically, that is, obviously. However, James Cameron's disaster epic is still outpacing Tom Cruise's fighter jet adventure outside of North America with $1.5 billion at the international box office and $2.2 billion globally. So basically, to catch Titanic, you would need to make another billion dollars. So that's clearly not happening. Um, also, it's never going to become like the number one domestic because I think the number one domestic film of all time is still Star Wars The Force Awakens with like in the 900 millions. Like it's some summer day. I honestly don't know that that record will ever be caught. I think the overall worldwide record will be caught before the domestic one gets mm -hmm. caught. So we'll have to see. But my goodness, this is a movie that a year and a half ago, and you've heard me say this before, but I'll say it again. A year and a half ago, I was like, this is too little too late. This is a movie that should have come out 20 years ago. Uh, at, at very latest, 10 years ago. I don't know that people are going to be flocking back to see it and all that kind of stuff. And then a funny thing happened about a year and a half ago. Aaron and I were at CinemaCon, two cinemas cons ago, and they showed us the first 18 minutes. And I came out of the, Aaron and I both came out of that first 18 minutes and went, what the hell did we just see? This movie is going to be awesome and we just like we were buzzing like you know we made videos about it coming out like we just saw the first 18 minutes of top gun maverick and holy crap if the rest of the movie is like this we're in for something really special because this would the first 18 minutes are incredible and then of course they showed us the full top gun maverick at the most recent CinemaCon a number of months ago and uh well all of us except for chris we're like <laughs> oh my god this was amazing like we were all just like jittery it was so good to see and I am thrilled for a success. Again, it's still going to maintain some legs for a while because there's nothing really else coming out. It's already down to making about $7 million a week, so it's not going to catch any more. I don't think... I think it's going to probably make its way into the sixth spot for biggest domestic, but regardless, this run has been incredible. So... Passes Titanic domestically, becomes mm -hmm. seventh biggest domestic film of all time, 13th biggest worldwide film of all time. I mean, out of all these continuing growing lists of accomplishments, what stands out to you about Top Gun Maverick? Wait to put things in theaters. 
Yeah. Do the right thing. Paramount. Oh, were they so rightfully smug at CinemaCon <laughs> coming out of just... Oh, my God. Were they ever? All right. Well, it's going to be a pretty good year for us. <laughs> and we wanted to do this for you, our exhibitors. We wanted to make sure your theaters were filled with top-notch movies, right? And we're seeing that kind of affect other movie studios, right? We're going to wait to put the right things in theaters. We're going to make sure that what goes to streaming deserves to be there. What deserves to be on the big screen goes there. And they did that with this. Now... Film is subjective, right? I loved Bullet Train. You liked it. I thought Top Gun was fine. Everyone else in the world thought it was a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> and again, I can find the objective things that are great about this film. It's beautifully shot. The soundtrack is incredible. The sound mixing is powerful. Oh, the, the sound work on oh this. Oh my gosh. I, I'll, be, I'll be legitimately surprised if it doesn't get a couple of Oscar nominations. Oh, it absolutely yeah. will. I mean, the, you just feel that sound in that film. It's incredible. The acting is wonderful in it. There is an incredibly emotional scene that got me. Oh, got everybody I, in the theater. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I completely understand this. And the big thing about it too, we've said it time and time again about this movie, it got the over 40 crowd back in this theater. Yep. And it had nostalgia working for it. It had some really great names involved working for it. And I think it was just a story that a lot of people wanted to see. We wanted to see a, a movie that, you know, for people like Aaron, whose family is a military family, it really, really touched people in a way that I think resonated enough to make them continue going back to that theater and watching it with their whole family. You know, there's not a lot of movies that people can bring everyone to. And I know there's like, there's a lovemaking scene and there's some language. <laughs> but every time that, you know, I saw people walking into that theater, they had their family with them. They had their kids with them because it is pretty much something you can take the kids to and not have an awkward car ride back home. Right. Anyway, guys, question is for you. Top Gun continues to cross milestone after milestone. Uh, this latest one crossing Titanic, again, domestically, mm -hmm. way far off from its overall worldwide, but still passes to Titanic domestically. Biggest Paramount domestic film of all time. Number seven on the domestic list. Number 13 worldwide. I don't, What stands out to you? What's the most impressive thing about this run for you? Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. Guys, we want to take a second and thank the sponsor of this video, Helix Sleep. Guys, let me tell you, just a couple of days ago, Ann and I received our Helix mattress, and it is the best mattress we have ever slept on in our entire lives. We had like this $3,000 specialized mattress that we got like five, six years ago, and we liked it very much, but this one completely outdoes it. It's night and day and you can get matched with your perfect mattress too. See, Helix Sleep has a quiz that takes just like a minute to complete, and it matches your body type and sleep preferences to the perfect mattress for you. Why would you buy a mattress made for somebody else? With Helix, you're getting a mattress that you know will be perfect for the way that you sleep. I hopped online, took the Helix quiz, and Anna and I were matched with the perfect mattress for us, and it is so easy to set up. Simply take it out of the box, get it positioned on your mattress, take off the plastic, and then give it an hour or two to breathe to reach its full size and you will not believe how comfortable this thing is. All you got to do is go to helixsleep.com slash campia. Take their 60 second sleep quiz and they'll match you to a customized mattress that will give you the best sleep of your life. And it's risk free. They have a 10 year warranty and you get to try it out for 100 nights. They'll even pick it up for you if you don't love it, but you will. Helix even has financing options and flexible payment plans so a great night's sleep is never far away. And here's the best part. Helix is offering up to $200 off of all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners at helixsleep.com com slash campia. 